之後，咪警方發射催淚鏢。我哋見到地上面咧係有啲雜物咧係燒著。我而家喺我自己嗰個天台上面啦，咁就哇，真係超急曬嘅。好啦，其實咧好耐好耐好耐，我係未做過一個英文 vlog 嘅。咁我今日咧，我決定咧，我係要做一次英文 vlog， 然後話俾大家聽，究竟 actually what what is happened in my life right now？ OK， um I have to be honest， I I have like few few topics I have to talk about today。They're all basically about my life, like things all around me going on. I haven't really picked up this English vlog for, 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 for like a really long time. And this is weird as well because like past two years, like after coming back to Hong Kong, like it's really hard to me to speak Chinese as well in front of the camera. I thought, I guess this is um, the problem of the relationship between me and the camera and the audience. And uh, like, but now I'm okay. Like. You know, this is some um, place you speak Cantonese, and like now I'm speaking English. I feel like I can be someone else as well. Like I don't have to be myself. It's just an update, to be honest. But I, I, I hope like my Chinese audience can listen to this vlog as well. May as well do the translation and stuff. Anyways, first thing I have to talk about is my career. My past two years, I nearly haven't really. You know, I just like in the process of searching and looking for an environment that I can comfortably work in. Like most of the time, I think like those people, they are very sort of how can I say like they are very cruel and they are they are very sort of they just want to limit everything you thought you do, especially in work. And now the thing, the 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 protests and stuff like going on in in Hong Kong. You know, like it's very, very messy here. But really, I'm, I'm an optimistic guy. We are heading to a new direction, and it's a good direction for Hong Kong and China as well. Anyway, anyways, the first thing I have to do is like, I still haven't given up、um, taking videos, making vlogs. Even though like my past two years vlogs is like shitty. If you Just know English, you wouldn't understand like most of it. But if you're Chinese, you may feel like, oh, I have so much like. I like sometimes I care too much of myself, and sometimes I have to. I, I don't know. Like, I just can't be myself. To be honest, it's really hard for me. My past two years, but not, I'm fine now. I'm really fine now, and I'm I'm feeling happy every day. And like, every day when I wake up now, I I feel like I have so much energy that I have to do something. Yeah, basically, I got a job like a week ago, and I really like it. It's about YouTube. So I'm I'm working in a company that、um, manage like different YouTube channels and stuff. Like I I don't think I should really have to mention too much about I I shouldn't mention too much about it because I don't know some like something I have like I can say it because they know I have a YouTube channel. I can like make my voice you know like to everybody and I have my little world here. They, it, it will be fine, but right now I just don't wanna, you know, like to talk too much about it. It's, it's about YouTube and、um, and the working environment is really good as well. I got、um, like a Western colleagues that I have to speak, speak like English to, which is really good. Like practice my English. Yeah, and the sec second thing, like this thing, gives gives me a lot, a lot of knowledge about the. The China and Hong Kong and Taiwan, like this, like the area around here, like the the trend and the you know like the ecosystem, the YouTube or the videos ecosystem. I really learn a lot every day. Yeah, and and it's about YouTube, so I'm happy about. I'm really happy about it. And the, and the company is expanding. It's really which is really good. So I'm I'm really happy right now. And the second thing I have to speak about is the the barbecue, like the Cantonese barbecue shop that my parents have. Yeah, I want to really want to make it like like an enterprise way to really manage it. But the thing is, like after two years, the company grows from one store to two stores, which is good. And and my parents had a bigger investment as well. After I come back to Hong Kong. I want to make the whole 
like the the store to become like a enterprise, run it like a way that like all those successful business run. But the thing is, this is a really sort of hard work, like traditional sort of work to do, and you need to really like commit to it and 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 the and the whole like the whole industry of this kind of Cantonese barbecue is going down because Hong Kong people like especially like teenagers it's hard for them to adopt to this kind of working environment like first of all no air conditioning and then you have to wake up really really early and it's dirty as well like your hand like after three four hours of working your hand becomes so dirty there's a lot of things like people just don't want to do this uh, I have to talk about the second objection that I want to have for this business is to make it automatic. What I learned in the university is about the AI and all those stuff. At the beginning, I was thinking like if I can apply the AI technique into this business, how would it go? But it's like this thought is like too far, far away from the reality because like the people working in my store, like they even don't have like a sufficient space to work in and they have to improve like their work have like their their working environment has to be improved first don't think about like all those like fancy ai or like big companies and stuff like that it doesn't make sense if the people working in your store they really had, had a really hard work maybe they 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 they're used to it from my point of view like the environment can be get like can get much much better first of all it's really hard to get a place in Hong Kong because the space is really expensive here. Like, if you get a space, you get a real. You you have to put money for the interior design, like the basic one, and you have to get all those license that you have. You can prepare your food. I don't know the specific, like the specific name of it, but you know, like all those this kind of, and you need budget on it as well. I would say like the store business, the the Cantonese barbecue business. I still looking forward to it, to manage it, and I want to make it bigger. But my parents' point of view is, I have to be there every day. At least I have to, you know, like get a driving license to maybe to deliver like food for them to their customers because like a lot of the customers want because we produce good barbecue pork. Some restaurants in Hong Kong want to get food from from us, but we have limited. Um, uh, we have limited em employees and deliver truck on our own and it's very expensive to pay so many limitations on it and it's growing not so fast so it's kind of like two years from one store becomes two stores nothing really happened and my parents put all those money into a bigger investment not for the business but for, for their uh, like future home because they won't want to buy when they have money, they want to buy a home. When they have another money, they want to buy another flat or apartment, etc. Still want to do it. I still want to, you know, like put the store onto, like, in the in the in the in in the web, maybe on YouTube or some sort of platform to sort of promote it. Like that's my goal, and that's my the main thing I can still do because my channel can grow, like day by day. Even though like past two years was really 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 slow but i feel like from this year on i will be get much better because i care less and less and i think i find some you know knowledge to and some key things that you have to do like you really have to do to improve your channel much the cantonese topic is over so let's move on to my um life to be honest Life is good. It's not like good, good. I don't get to travel a lot. I haven't really traveled like for the past two years, but I'm still looking forward to it. Yeah, because like like most of my, my traveling, they are all very long. For example, I went to the UK for five years and I'm not very into that kind of short trip sort of, um, you know, I want to just chill and maybe just three months there and three months other place, absorb the energy and the culture and everything from the place yeah you may wonder why my english is suddenly so fluent yeah because i like past past week i was like talking to my boss and he's from america or something yeah 
and I've been watching a lot of like English like gaming channel <laughs> yeah that's why my English improved yeah so life is good and um, I hope my video is gonna be good as well but and, and because of the company I can like like you know like I have a bunch of people to work with, work with and I can apply my creativity in it as well a lot of things like a lot of possibilities I can do in that company so I'm really really happy about that about it instead of um, you know my parents work they work like more than 10 hours a day and now I can really feel them you know like for this the new job I just got it's like eight hours or nine hours a day like it feels very short for me if you really enjoy what you do right I can I can still commit a lot in it to be honest yeah and that's really much the things I have to talk to you probably gonna over 10 minutes or something yeah and um, Hong Kong is very messy right now I'm I I wouldn't say messy but there's things going on here you know the protests and stuff and I'm optimistic with the future and I'm stand for those people as well I I, 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 I like not every like not everything like fighting people or like like you know like people being very aggressive I I'm not very kind of aggressive people but I, I I stand for the like original idea that they want to change and I think it's a it's gonna be a good change as well and I think it's almost over now but it's gonna take time as well you know so basically that's it so um, haven't really spoken English in the vlog for a long 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 time but um, I'm looking forward in the future maybe like several months later I may I'm gonna you know make another English vlog I'll see you guys